And folks, another day with some rumbles of thunder and some pretty good lightning and some pretty heavy rain in a few spots. Watch Doppler as we're going back to early afternoon. Stuff fired up just on the north side of Harlingen. Yesterday was north side of Brownsville. Today, north side of Harlingen moved to the west and died down. But watch again, pretty good rain around Santa Rosa down to Laferia, moving westward and then faded. Now we're tracking some showers that are in the process of fading away as well. Rio Grande City picking up a little bit of rain, but most of it just north of town and over to Mexico off to the southwest. These showers will push northward and probably weaken pretty quickly as well. Again, you look at it valley wide and coverage was Willis and Cameron County a little bit into Hidalgo County and that was the end of that and then Star County picking up a couple showers. This is Doppler estimated rainfall totals from today. We'll go a little bit closer into the areas that saw the more significant rainfall and you can see right around Santa Rosa about two to two and a half inches of rain there. You get up around Santa Monica east of I 69 E out in the middle of Willis County about two inches there. East of Westlaco, between Westlaco and Mercedes, up to a half an inch. We just had, right about here, we had 0.11 at our studios today, about a tenth of an inch. So it was very, very spotty. Those that got it, got it good, like yesterday. Most places getting not much at all. Yeah, very spotty once again. Another day when you watch the satellite, you see stuff fire up, and as soon as it fires up, the tops of the clouds get pushed to the south, down into Mexico, some stuff firing to the north, and the stuff off to the west of us at this hour as well. Future track says anything this evening will go away. Low clouds come in overnight, and then tomorrow here we see the sea breeze coming in again, perhaps triggering isolated showers during the afternoon. Once again, like today, they start in the eastern part of the valley, try to move westward. Might make a little farther west tomorrow, but still it's going to be spotty stuff. Sunday, probably another sea breeze, maybe not quite as active. We're going 20% tomorrow. I actually have a number on there tomorrow. Then we go back to mainly dry for Sunday and Monday. Temperature wise, we dropped into the 70s here at our studios, but now it's back up to 90. 96 in McAllen, 92 at Harlingen. Port Isabel is 89 degrees. Overnight tonight, readings will bottom out in the upper 70s and low 80s, about 81 at the beach, about 80 in McAllen. Everybody else in the upper 70s. And then tomorrow, still hot, 101 McAllen. East of that in the upper 90s into the beach of high tomorrow of around 88 degrees. Normal high for this time here is 94. We'll stay above that, 97, and then a couple of 98s. The records are well above that at 101, 100, and 102. Rest of Texas, it's warm but not scorching. The only triple digit number on there is El Paso at 100. Everybody else, 80s and 90s this afternoon. The Big Ridge still in control of things. It lifts to the north, and that tropical moisture tries to sneak in tomorrow. And with that seeping into the area, spotty showers are possibly get on the sea breeze. And the high kind of re exerts itself on Sunday just a little bit. So activity could taper off just a little bit, but there's still enough moisture for something isolated all the way into next week. Long range models, some of them try to push a lot of moisture in for the middle to latter part of next week, but that's still several days away. Look how quiet the Atlantic is. There's nothing going on right now. Pacific, on the other hand, quite busy. We got an impressive hurricane, Aletta, and then another wave that's about to become a named storm, probably. 90% chance of this mess developing, but Aletta is going to stay out to sea. Shouldn't affect any landmass. Quick check if you're traveling tomorrow across Texas, 7 o'clock in the morning, 76 in San Antonio and Dallas, 75 in Houston. By afternoon, most of the state is back into the 90s again. So tonight, 78, partly cloudy, warm, humid, southeasterly winds, and tomorrow, 97 again with a spotty shower thunderstorm. The chance tomorrow stands at about 20%. We're pulling back to less than 10% on Sunday, and it stays that way for the rest of the forecast period. We are mainly dry. Again, long range models hint at some showers possible at the end of next week. That's something we really have to kind of focus on, see what we can see as we get through the weekend into the early part of the week. That is your updated first one five forecast.